I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. At a press briefing Monday, Governor Ron DeSantis commented on the ongoing push to revoke Disney's special self-government district. The Florida Republican said Disney will be responsible for paying its debts and, quote, will not control their own government, as the state takes over the area once controlled by the mega corporation. DeSantis said, quote, they will pay their fair share of taxes and they will be responsible for paying their debts. Let's listen in. The governor wanted to ask you essentially about Reedy Creek. I know that you have spoken a little bit about this, but we want to just see where you are. Sure. That, that we, most people think that it will go to the taxpayers. No, so, so yeah, so that's a great question. I'm glad you asked that. Um, just think about it. The same people who, who, who criticize me for saying you're punishing Disney are also saying we're going to relieve Disney of $766 million in debt. How would that be a punish? I mean, like, it makes no sense that that would be the case. And so I can tell you this, uh, that debt will not end up going uh, to any of these local governments. Uh, it's not going to go to the state government either. Um, it's going to absolutely be dealt with with the taxpayers who are currently in that district. And we're going to have a proposal to kind of make sure that that's clear. Uh, and that is 100%. And, and we understood that. But when the legislature did what they did, they set a date for June of next year knowing, and it's not just Reedy Creek, there was a, a handful of other of these legacy special districts that had powers that are just unacceptable. You know, Reedy Creek gave Disney the power to seize property outside of Reedy Creek boundaries with eminent domain. So a lot of other subsidies in there uh, that are just not appropriate. That's, there's, you also had some stuff in other parts of the state, obviously not as high profile. So, of course, all of that is going to be dealt with. I'd say some of those special districts may just go away. Some may be amended. Some potentially could be reauthorized. Obviously, with Reedy Creek, uh, the path forward is Disney will not control its own government in the state of Florida. Disney will have to follow the same laws that every other company has to follow in the state of Florida. They will pay their fair share of taxes. And they will be responsible for, for paying the debts. And so at the end of the day, all we're doing is putting them on a level playing field with all the other companies in Florida, making sure there's no special privileges, no special deals, but that debt will be honored. Now, you hear people that will try to say locally in Central Florida, oh, this is going to force us to raise taxes. Understand, from our perspective at the state, any local government raising taxes on their citizens uh, is unjustifiable to do that. Uh, there is not going to be any basis to do it because they're not going to have any additional liabilities. And you know what? Even though there are ways where you could potentially uh, have local communities absorb jurisdiction over Disney, after seeing them threatening to raise taxes on their citizens, uh, uh, we are not going to be in a situation where we're just going to be giving them locally control. More likely that the state will simply assume control and make sure that we're able uh, to impose the law and make sure we're collecting the taxes. You know, I look at these firefighters. I think these firefighters there should be making more money. There's a whole bunch of different things that we will be able to do. I'd much rather have the state uh, leading that effort than potentially having local governments. First of all, it'd be a cash cow for them if they had Disney, but I'm worried that they would use that as a pretext to raise taxes on people when that's what they would want to do anyways and then try to blame Reedy Creek. So we're not going to give them that opportunity. Uh, don't worry about that. Uh, but the debts uh, will absolutely be paid. And you will see that. We're, we're working on some proposals. Uh, I think we've got a pretty much what we want to do, but I'm going to work with the legislative leaders for who are going to come in after the election to make sure that we're all in agreement. And then we'll be able to, to have that ready as well as dispositions and resolution of these other special districts. You know, we have over a thousand in the state of Florida. There's nothing wrong with a special district. It's just these ones prior to 68, you know, really had a lot of problematic things in them uh, where they were creating things that I think are aberrations in a normal uh, free society based on the rule of law. So we're going to deal with all of that, and that is 100 uh, percent. So, so do not worry about the debt, and certainly the state of Florida. First of all, we have the lowest per capita tax burden. Why? I, I have the biggest budget surplus we've ever had. There would be no basis to ever do any type of, of raising taxes. And I think if you look at all the subsidies you know, that Disney's gotten over the years, um, you know, likely the state and local governments will likely be collecting more taxes.